have to let me just get their name out there that they don't pay their bills. You're expected yeah. to pay yours. Yeah. I'm expected to pay mine, and they should be expected to pay theirs. Okay, we'll ask them. Anything else, Will? I don't have anything. No? Okay. I don't think that Jerry's going to be here. He should have been here already. Yeah. You don't think he will? No. I don't know why. I don't think so. He said he wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. So he's on here. You might have forgotten. Okay. I just wanted to know sure. what was going on in the watershed. Well, I know the county uh, attorney's been poking his head in the know. Else. So we're Two. finished at this point. I just wanted to make a couple of announcements. Okay. Uh, in as much as uh, it does not look like Jerry Gagne is going to be available today, uh, I, before we go into non-public, I just wanted to uh, tell you about a meeting I attended down in um, at Primate, at, uh, at the, it's in the Primex building, but it was the um, Association of Counties uh, held a uh, nominating committee meeting for new mem uh, for new officers for next year uh, on the on the state level for the, the count for the association of counties, and uh, the new president on the slate hasn't been elected yet. That will happen at the conference, but the new president on the slate is David Sorensen. So I just wanted to uh, let everybody here know that. Um, Unfortunately, I apologize. I had everybody's name uh, for the rest of the slate, and I left it in my briefcase. So it's downstairs. I don't remember who it was. Yes? Oh, yeah, uh, on a totally different topic, uh, I talked to Jason over the week about the um, amount of uh, times a, uh, a, the medical staff is called mm -hmm. during the day and at night, and he got back to me and said that there's more daytime yes. calls. So I, I just wanted to see if the commissioner's got any more information about. Oh. Oh, yeah. I looked in about a half hour ago. I could see. Okay. Uh, no. You want to finish? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just yeah. wondering if the commissioner's yeah. got any more information about the uh, the jail numbers. And Other than what you got now. And if you're going to sign the contract for the medical. We, we have signed the contract. Yes. You have. Yes. Okay. That was, it was proved subject to. What was it? Oh, there was a couple of changes in the contract. Um, and I can't remember now what they were, but I know we talked about them. Um, having to do with, I, <coughs> I believe you were talking about having to do with uh, six months and how trial period. Were, yeah. And how frequently they were going to come. And and the number of times they would, they would be here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and with regard, uh, Representative Babson, your question about a nurse from the uh, nursing home yes, coming yeah. over. We did um, speak with, uh, with uh, both Cheryl and uh, Sandy, Sandy regarding that issue, and they, they do not have a nurse on, st an extra nurse on staff at night. They have only one, and she cannot cover, she cannot be out of the building to cover for, okay. for that. So that was, uh, that's unavailable. Okay. Um, but when, when but we w that said maybe there's another nurse close by that might be able to get called in. I guess we haven't yeah, followed that, that up. That's the issue. That's it's not somebody, on. Yeah. Not on duty, so that might be something. Um, when does this medical contract take effect, please? Starting October first. I as soon as possible. Uh, yes, I believe it must be because we're in need. Yeah. I won't be too far off if I put down October 1st now. Probably you put down anything you want, <laughs> Representative Batson. <laughs> okay, Jerry. Um, Sorry to interrupt. I didn't realize no problem. No, no, that's quite right. Um, do we have any bids? Um, where are we on this bids for this panel? Uh, oh, we've already accepted panel. The, um, for the building controls. Yep. We accepted from control technology. They're the only ones that bid on the job. The only one, okay. Yes. And, and where, we, where are we at? What's the status? We, last week, I went over, reviewed what they're going to be doing, and we signed up. We, um, mm -hmm. I told them it was good to go, so they ordered the stuff. Okay. It was last week, all the parts and equipment and the controllers and everything. And um, he's going to get back when everything comes in. We're going to schedule them to come in and do it. Okay. It'll be done. So. 
how do you know how we are for our heating budget? For our heating budget, yeah. right now we're pretty much we're pretty much there. I've been reviewing that. I have um, I've been going over that. With, um, the big problem is is the prices never drop. They've averaged about fifty cents more mm. per pound you know, every every single month. It's been yeah. huge. So um, we didn't budget. No, we didn't budget that much money. So we're going to be short when it comes to the fuel budget. Okay. That will an item for that. Anything else? Any other areas in your budget that we no, might we're, fall we're, short? I think we're pretty good. We're good everywhere else. And do you think you can stay within the bottom line of your budget if the heat can. goes up? I do believe we can because we're doing really good with the electric now. That's dropped quite a bit since, has it? since they've done that. Yes. How, how do we find out how much it's dropped? Well, I'm, I'm we're right now I'm comparing from last year to this year. Okay. But ps &H can give us a chart at the end of the year. Uh, we can go from when we can compare the whole year from last year to this yeah. year, yeah. prices, everything, what the rate was. We can come up with an idea how much we're actually saving. Okay, mm -hmm. so that should be true for all our buildings. I think it would because we signed an agreement with this mm -hmm. company that it would be a reduced rate, even yep. though public service is still providing the uh, the service type area, but we're buying the energy from another company, mm -hmm. which is the saving. But well, actually, I think PSNH is still. Powering this building, I don't think we were included oh, yeah. in that. Right? Yeah. yeah, but but we do have another yes company. Mm -hmm. I want to say Transatlantic, but I can't remember no. right now. No, but it's through the New Hampshire Association mm -hmm. of Counties. Uh, were you talking just because we changed over yes. our lighting? Yeah, I'm talking about the retrofit. Okay, yes. all right. Yes. So then there should be additional savings, not only from the lights, but from right. buying uh, energy <clears throat> at a reduced rate. Okay. Mm -hmm. cheaper than what public service mm -hmm. and I I heard something and I think it's true my light my electric bill has gone up and <clears throat> what is happening is a lot of big corporations are buying into this like this county is bought into it mm -hmm. saving energy so therefore public service isn't selling enough and so they're jumping up their price mm -hmm. so I say that but I, I don't have anything to back it up um, Actually, I don't know that they can do that without going to the PUC. Some, yeah. yeah, it through could some, be. Through some but I know process. mine's going up, and I don't know why. No, but anyway. But, um, well, on the plus, PSNH was here a couple of weeks ago, and they inspected the building, and they gave us a big thumbs up for the retrofit. So we'll be getting a rebate. That's a, well, it'll be a good amount back. Yeah. So yeah. What, whether we just um, apply it to the bill every month or we take it back and use it whichever way, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But yeah. She, yeah. We can. We have options on how you can receive the money back. So. Okay. Or county. So. I just. Is there any other other? We've done the the, the retrofit here. Are there, are there any other Rebate? things that we're doing? Here in yeah, this, building? this building. No, just the controls for the okay. the um, heating and cooling will be included. We'll be getting the air conditioning, the rooftops included in this. We'll get them integrated into the system, so we'll actually be able to control the building's temperature and. We'll say advantage. We'll say a few Jenny there, and we can shut them down at night. I can program to do whatever they want. You can do that. Yes, I'll be able to do that now okay. once the system's in place. So okay. we won't get heat in the middle of the summer. No, we'll be able to adjust accordingly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm almost hundred percent sure. Of that. <laughs> no, I, I said that we have the heat going on and the air conditioning going on at the same time, but somebody corrected me in saying that that's a means of air exchange is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Um, so it may not necessarily be that they're on it. They're on at the same time, but it's because of the air exchanging process, yes. whatever you call it. It's the temperature of the air coming into the building, yeah. and that's what, when the temperature of the air gets too cool out, even if it's cool outside in the building, but it still adjusts the air temperature coming into the building. I can adjust the air temperature coming into this sector. There's four sec yeah. six sectors all together in the building, six sections. Yeah. Is, so there, is there a way, there are people like me who are always cold in this building. Is there a way of adjusting the uh, the air conditioning in the summertime? There will be. Okay. Right now we have to do it manually. They have to go up and they actually have to go up and okay. punch it into the computer that's up there in the machine or we can, they can um, do it if I had a phone line hooked up to there, they could call right into it and promote them and everything and do it that way. But you know, this way here, it won't cost us anything to have them come and do that because that, that was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know, so I sort of deal with it the best I can instead of calling them. Someone says it's too cold, you know, I'm not going to pay. 
Mm -hmm. You know, just for them to come here is a couple hundred bucks, which yeah. kind of, uh, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. But we will get to a point. But we'll get to a point. By the end of the year, that should be all be taken care of. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So. I'll hold off for that then. Okay. Until then. <laughs> I would like to say to you that uh, this building is in really good shape from cleanliness is concerned. Um, and it's all you're doing. I know you come in at hours uh, when the building is closed to the general public and to some of the employees because you can get more work done mm -hmm. at that time. Um, so I, I just would like to thank you for keeping this building up in good shape. It's, it really looks good. Uh, thank you. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anybody, any questions of uh, Jerry? Yes? Jerry, I don't know whether you um, d just made a mistake or, or whether that's what it's done. You said something about the fuels costing more by the pound. Aren't we buying it by the gallon? Well, whatever, pound, gallon, I said both, so. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's LP. I've always, you know, you buy it by the pound. I thought it was by the pound, too, but then they talk about the bill being by the gallon. Yeah. yeah, I think it is by gallon. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think next week um, we'll have Kathy Armstrong up to talk about what we pay, how we pay it, when the deliveries are. I know they fluctuate. Yeah. Every time they bring a load of propane, it's something different, mm -hmm. price-wise. Yeah. Well, like I said, the prices compared to last year are, are very high. They've never dropped ever since what's been going on overseas and whatever the other yeah. some countries and stuff. When that all went down, prices skyrocketed, and they've never, they leveled out, but it was at a lot yeah. higher rate than it was, so. Yeah. Gas prices have come down, though. Yeah. They've been 345 I paid this yeah. morning. 319. 319? <laughs> Center Harbor. Fred Fuller. Center Harbor. That's where I got it. Center Harbor, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's almost worth the drive. That, that Would you ask Robin Reed to come uh, in? I will. Fuller. Fred Fuller. Fuller. Right on 25 in Center Harbor. Fuller or, or, or? Fred Fuller. Oh, yeah. the one that closed and then we opened. Right. Yes. 319. Oh, that one. Yes. That one's open again? Yep. 319. Wow. Um, did we do anything about the minutes? We don't have minutes. No, 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 no. We have the minutes. They've all been corrected. Yeah. And we're waiting for you because I can't. Okay. Do it by yeah. Myself. Yeah. So well, what do we need to do? I I would move to have the minutes accepted as amended. Last week's minutes. Last the September twenty first. Okay. I'll second it. Were there any corrections? Yes, I made the corrections. You made corrections, yes. so it's proved as corrected. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 And so voted for the minutes. We don't have any non-public. No. Not that I have, no. Okay. And uh, you want to take care of that? Yeah. We, uh, as I mentioned, was it last week or two weeks two ago? Two weeks ago. Um, that I travel, we were down to $365, I believe, left for the rest of the year. Um, and we have... $2,000 in a line item for conferences and registration. I would make a motion that we pay our registration fees to the New Hampshire Association of Counties for our annual meeting and that the remainder be moved into our mileage account, our ex travel account. Um, last year we overspent that um, particular line item and uh, we didn't. Uh, we did move a little bit of money into it, but not enough to cover our expenses. And we got still three months left to go. Um, if we don't do that, then we don't get mileage. We could cut back and have a meeting every other uh, every other month or twice a month. But there are certain things that come up in non-public session that we have to be here for. To uh, it may be a. Uh, Somebody that's grieving something, and if it's a union contract, we have so many days to act on it. So we really need to be here. Um, and then the other thing is we sign all the checks every week, and it could be 30, it could be 60 or 75 checks to sign. And we sign those mainly because then we know where the money is going, and we can, we can question the vouchers. So we really need to be here. It's not a question of... of um, it's nice to be here and get reports. That's also true it, to keep us informed as to what's going on. 
So my motion would be to change or to approve a transfer from the 